Hello and welcome back to the Hamlet Rex to Regis. It is part three in season five. Or Ham Wood. Oh yeah, this was the first game going in, and uh, I was thinking, please, no more draws. And yeah, two minutes in, already there, I could tell. Oh, this is gonna be a good game. <laughs> Asante with four goals in this one. Madman. Just absolutely madman. I mean, this this is what this is what we wanted L look at the statistics i mean they have nothing they have one shot one shot on target not even a highlight they didn't have a highlight <laughs> that's, that's it that's insane extended highlights they didn't have a highlight there we go that's how it should be that's how we want to play six nil uh yeah santa of course insane and uh, also uh, carrington completely a menace down the right hand side they could not control him actually with this these goals he he is now uh, at this time in the moment he was nine goals in 10 games that is uh, that is pretty good and and uh, even better uh, arguably better is uh, carrington who is sitting on 7.92 rating in average of course that is average absolutely brilliantly absolute brilliant game scon thorpe away from home they were rock bottom in the league could I expect anything but a win? No, not really. But we didn't get it. It's 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 a draw. <laughs> I mean, what? What? This is the fifth draw. This is the fifth draw of the season, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, oh, it's it's like they had like three highlights and they scored on two of those. And one of them is a penalty. It's, we couldn't outscore them. We could. I mean, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense, this one. Honestly, it doesn't. Especially, I, I, it just doesn't. But uh, yeah, uh, Enoch again. Enoch Asante with two goals. That is at least something positive. He keeps scoring. So yeah, um, what I did with not uh, letting our winger shoot seems to be working so uh that's 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 the that's that's good i guess but it, it, disappointing disappointing that we can't win against the bottom of the league it, it's definitely you know at this time in the moment i was thinking okay well we might be good but we we're maybe not that good elder shot at home yeah this uh this was a big one they were sitting above us in the league at this po uh, in this point in uh, time actually four points ahead of us so uh, this was of course a massive game to play and we managed to squeeze through man at home one nil paddy lane love to see it it's uh it's, it's it's very important to to not lose this one at least uh, I, I was thinking going into this oh, okay it's probably gonna be a draw again but uh, we managed to squeeze through and uh, not give them too much i mean that's uh, that's what i would like it 64 percent possession that's also a lot that's a lot partington with uh, i think he had one or two really good saves here and of course lane uh, taking the player of the match here Sarah also just you know, a beast in the defense. Niang is working out as the halfback now. Really coming big for us, Niang. So, uh, I mean, I mean, everything uh, everything is looking good. For Bess had to play this one. He did well. Every time he's playing, he's doing quite well. Uh, so it, it, that's also really nice to see. Even Jarvis had a pretty decent game, you know. He, he just didn't get the goals, but he definitely linked up with the rest of the players to do so. Tranmere away from home. They were sitting third in the league. A points with us. They had the same point haul, 29 actually. We were on a streak of 13 unbeaten and they have not, uh, they, they won their last four games. So you knew this was going to be a clash. At least I knew this was going to be a clash. And it was fairly even game, of course, with us having a possession. Um, I think there's only been one game so far this season where we didn't have the possession. And that is Fulde, who is also the only guys in the league that have more possession than us normally. So, yeah, um, I mean, 1-0, and uh, we didn't even score a goal. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't score a goal. It's an own goal. I mean, we, uh, we probably deserved to score, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit odd winning this one because it, this is probably, if not the biggest, then at least in top three of the biggest opponents for the title this year. So, uh, and, and another insanely important result, of course, away from home. Getting this result is massive. It's the big. It's the biggest result so far. Of course, it is. Niang, eight point one. Absolutely great passing work. He he just he just made sure that we. He's kind of the guy that is making sure that it all ticks. You know what I mean? He's just he's just always ready for that pass to be. Get, no matter if it's from our own half or inside their half, he's just always there to pass back to. 
He's just great to have there. And sometimes, sometimes he do have that killer ball. In this game, he had like three or four killer balls. And one of them did lead to the own goal. So yeah, absolutely brilliant work from Nyang. Worthing, and this is also away from home, but this is not the league. This is the FA Cup. It is the fourth qualifier. And uh, I decided to go with a lot of the guys that normally wouldn't start, like the Domo, uh, Forbes, Khalil had a chance, a blaster has a chance, and uh, Weber got in. James is there, you know, Clayton, uh, our new signing, and he did really well. He actually saved the penalty. Yeah. Missed penalty. He saved it. I mean, <laughs> isn't that great? I would actually call him player of the match here. So a 3-1 victory uh, against Worthing. Worthing is a league below us. So it, it was, of course, something we should win. In uh, I, I don't want to crash out of the uh, FA Cup before we get to the first one round. That's for sure. But uh, a pretty good victory. Pre pretty good victory. And uh, some of the guys, especially... I would say especially, um, yeah, Clayton did. I mean, we're not going to play Clayton, but I don't know if there was anyone else here that really did well. I mean, Young also played this one, 7.7 .7 again. Great performance by him, uh, keeping it all together. Weber did quite well, I guess. I guess. I just don't remember, you know, if he did anything really good inside the match engine. They just had, oh yeah, Milt came in pretty late and scored a goal. That's interesting to see, right? <laughs> in the overtime. Yeah. Um, oh, of course, that was a penalty, but still, it's, it's, it's quite awesome. <laughs> Eastly, at home, they were 19. And you know what? This is also a pretty damn big victory. Not as good as a performance as some of the last games, but definitely a very, very good victory. Uh, lots of shots. Three goals, none conceded. We're looking good. Asante again popping up with a brace. Love to see it. Carrington again that menace down the right hand side. Absolutely great. Forbes again, like I said, he's doing great when he's playing as that uh, uh, central defender instead of Spencer Adams. I think Spencer Adams had a few, you know, small, tiny injuries. So Forbes has been playing a little bit. Uh, Rev has been my first choice. Um, yeah, first choice on the left-hand side of the defense. Uh, very interesting, very interesting. Fullback, yeah, of course, fullback. So that, that's um, cover. Cover has a hard time uh, taking him out of that, uh, or get him off that spot, to be honest. It's just, he just keeps getting good results, Rev. Or at least he's keeping, he's just, he just feels a little bit better than cover. Uh, same with Hugh, just, he just, he's just keeping Crowy out of the team right now. It's, 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 inter it's very interesting that I didn't expect that to happen, but I mean, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't expect us to be this good this early in the league. But yeah, again, great result. And uh, this, this makes us 15 unbeaten. 15 unbeaten. Last of the bunch is Kettering away from home. They were 18th in the league uh, when we played them here. And I was thinking going into this, this can't keep, we can't keep this up. We, we're we going to slip up at some point. Well, no, it seems. Um, yeah, another really, really good result. And uh, again, we're not letting them get too much. We have the possession. It, it all looks like uh, there is a, you know... <laughs> you know the formation definitely works we have some good players again i mean paddy lane is also he, he actually have a good season so far paddy lane it's just sometimes he's just injured or i don't know can't play for some reason but otherwise he, he's he's playing quite well Friel having a good game. Our midfield have not have the highest of ratings, but that's just because the wingers and the fullbacks is just doing so good. <laughs> they are just being so good. They are so. We, yeah, I don't expect our uh, central midfielders to you know rating wise at the world of place, but uh, they're still good, doing good here. And Khalil actually had a chance from the get go. Yeah, like I said, uh, some of Gillian has been okay. But um, that's it. He's, he's probably bottom of the list of average rating. But that, that's still pretty damn good. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. It's still pretty damn good. But I gave Khalil a chance here and he, uh, he grabbed his chance. And you know what? That's one of the first games where uh, our midfielders did really, really well in terms of ratings, at least. They've done really well otherwise. They start the ratings is just not that high. So uh, yeah, really good game. Carrington for once not having a good game. That's interesting. But otherwise, I can't, I can't complain. Khalil, real goals and Paddy Lane missing a penalty but and still getting 9.2 because he's making two assists. Uh, yeah, uh, 11 key passes from Paddy Lane. In That's that's insane. Like I said, our wingers are doing everything they can. It, it seems... I, w I wouldn't say that um, I wouldn't say that crossing is broken in FM22, but definitely playing with wingers really high up the pitch and having good crossers, having good headers, 
uh, as a striker, it, it, it's it's definitely probably likely gonna be the best thing in FM22 uh, to do. There we have it in all its glory. A really, really good start to this season. I mean, it it is hard to... I mean, yes, we do have the draws. We do have these five draws. But, I mean, our current form is insane. We are not... We have let in one goal and won five games. I mean, that's as good as it gets. That's as good as it gets. I mean, that's, that's really, really good. Yes, we have been playing some of the weaker teams like Kettering and Easley. Worthing, Worthing is not really a great team, but we have also played Eldershot and Tranmere. When we played them, number one and number three in the league, and we won that, we won those games narrowly. But that's all you can get. I mean, that is still insanely good results here. Uh, I mean, so where are we sitting? Where are we sitting? Well, we are sitting top of the league, but we are not. Well, let's go in here actually. But we are not that far. I mean, we are five points ahead. We are five points ahead, which is really nice after 16 games. That's really, really good. But trust me, Rexham, they are gonna come up there. They they are not gonna give this up. They are gonna if we if we start making draws, they are gonna catch us. We we can let up. We we need to keep going like we do. Um, and we do have a lot of draws compared to some of the other teams up here. We do have a lot of draws. We can keep drawing. It, it's not a good thing. We need to keep winning. That's how you win a title, or at least get the top two uh, in, in worst case here. I think worst case is actually top two, to be honest. I, I think we got that kind of team. I, we need to we need to really, really slip up if we're not going to get up there. But yeah, in terms of um, goal scoring and also uh, against, look at that. Six goals. We only let in six goals from 16 games. That is by far the best in the league. Tranmere is the only one even close to us, eight with eight. I mean, that's it's it's that is really strong. That's a really strong um, way to to play. I mean, if we do, if we don't if we don't concede, well, we can't lose. So, you know, you know, it's a uh, it's like, and we still have way more goals than most in the league. I mean, we still Maidstone. Who who got more? Elder Shot got one more, and that's it. That's the only ones that got more goals than us. We are not really. Re I mean, we our clinical. I mean, yeah, our striker Asante has been doing really great. But our wingers are not goal-scoring wingers. Uh, so it's it's a lot up to us creating a shit ton of chances and then scoring at least on two or three of those. Uh, but but so far, we do. we do. We do have over two per average. So it's looking really great. It finally happened. Uh, they finally accepted it. I have, I have actually tried a lot of times. I just haven't shown you. But throughout the seasons here, I have tried to build a new stadium. But we didn't really have the money for it. Or they did. I don't know. Usually they take out a loan when you ask them. There we go. Planet new stadium. It's going to be over double the size. It's going to be finished in 2027. It's going to take a couple of years. But when this is in, we're going to earn so much more money. Trust me, we're going to earn a lot more money. Because let's take a look at this. All the home games. Take a look at all the home games here. 3,000, 3,000. Uh, 3,000, 2,970, 2,929. Yeah, we are capping our capacity. Uh, we, 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 we need a new stadium. We need more guys. We need, we need, we, we are selling out our tickets, man. We need a new stadium. That's for sure. So, uh, that's great to see. Very good news. I, I'm, I'm, I hope, I don't, I don't, I actually hope they're going to keep the name, but it, they're probably not because I don't, they're probably going to call it like, uh, oh, oh, I, See, I think I think the way you should say I've never heard it being said in real. Um, you know the name here, Hamlet. Uh, but I I'm, I have said it like Dulwich, but I don't think that's it. I've, um, or Dol I actually no, that's that's true. I've said it like Dulwich, like a doll. I don't. That's probably not it. Someone mentioned it in the comments. Uh, it's probably more. See, I'm not British, clearly, and. Um, I don't even think all British people know, probably know it, but it's, it's probably pronounced more like Dolch, Dolch, Dolchwich, or Dolchwich, with more a J sound, uh, where, where there is none. But I think that's more correct, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna use it often. I'm just gonna call us, ourselves Hamlet. But anyway, I think they're gonna name it probably Dolchwich Hamlet Stadium or something like that when we get a new stadium. But, well, we, I don't know. We, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if that's gonna happen. I, I would like to have Champion Hill Stadium again. Uh, that name that is great or maybe maybe use uh, one of the uh, legends do we have a do we actually have a legend where can we see legends where can we see legends affiliates facilities no news it's probably in general isn't it uh legends kyle danny Mill. oh it would be lovely to have the danny mill stadium 
Oh, I would love the Danny Mills Stadium. <laughs> that would be awesome. But today we do have two games that I want to play here. It is not the biggest of games, but you know what? It was a good, I think it was a good point to come back after, you know, six, seven games here. So Hartlepool, they are currently sitting ninth in the league. We are at home. So, I mean, I don't, I, I, I just want to win it. End of story. 2-0, 3-0. That's bang on. Just keep going, man. Just keep going. And then we also got an, uh, you know, a little bit of an interesting uh, game here against Bill Ricky, unless it's getting moved, because I think it was already moved once, uh, or maybe that was another game. But yeah, they are moving games right now, so I'm a little bit worried that we might have to play someone else. That could be York, but I, I guess I guess I'll actually rather play York, maybe. Uh, but yeah, FA Cup first round, so we are gonna go into that one as well. So let's get to the Hartlepool game. Okay, okay. So so yeah, we are gonna go for next match only. We're going to go for opposition instructions here. Balanced to positive. Ooh, that's um, defend more wide. Yeah, okay, that's that's interesting. Increase attack duties. I'll do that. See, they think, my, and, and so far they have been correct. Every time I've seen this where, where, where we should go positive and go more wide and go more attack duties, that seems to be the deal where we are just completely in control of the game. Ease of tackles. Who is that? That is huge. Okay, yeah, ease him off. That's okay. He's probably on, uh, you know, uh, he, he will probably get, you know, a suspension if he's not careful here. So, okay, let's get into, uh, let's see, uh, see what I want to do here. We are on positive. We are, I don't, I, I'm not set up any of the guys yet. I'll do that in a moment. But uh, we are not, we are, de we are defending with with, right? So I think I'm just putting um, either Rev or Hugis on attack. That's what I've done some of the other guy times. And it seems to be working out quite nice. I think I'm actually going to put both of them on this time around for this match. So we have five guys on attack, but I think we're good enough to do it. Three guys on defense and two on support. I think that's good. I think that's okay. Mm, Spencer Adams. Ooh, he's not really that fit, but I think he's gonna play this one. We can we can say we can rest him in the uh, in the cup game instead. Then I think I'm gonna give uh, cover this game. Yeah, let's give cover this game instead of uh, instead of Rev. Rev can sit out this game. He's also having some high injury risk here, so let's get him out. I think also Khalil probably deserves to play instead of Jilijan here. Uh, where is he? Down here. There we go. Carrington had a really bad game the last time around. You know what? Hill hasn't been great, but uh, do he even deserve another chance? I don't... <laughs> it's like, it's, 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 you know... No, I don't think so. I think Carrington has been that great. He just had one bad game, but Hill has had a couple of bad games now. I he, he is probably someone I should have left out of the team. You know, sold. He's probably going to get sold next season. Uh, more than likely, because he is, again... One of those guys that just shows he can't he can't keep up with the rest of them. Uh, he doesn't really ever have a really really good game. Oh well, he do have, but he's just so inconsistent in his performance, as we can see here. So uh, yeah, we're probably gonna leave him out next. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and, and, and sell him and get another uh, winger. Oh, we got Paddy Lane out here. He should probably play instead of Uber. Uh, Uber has he's been okay, but he's not been that great. It's like he's probably. Not the level I think he is. Um, I mean, they, they are saying two stars. I, I will say probably two and a half, but whatever. Uh, but I think we're going to put Lane on here. I mean, how can I not? He got 7.43 in average rating. That's that's hard to beat. And he's even going up in curve. It's, <laughs> it's, it's hard not playing him. All right. I think that is going to be it for this game. So Paddington, Hughes, Spencer Adams, Haha, Coburn, Young, Khalil, Friel, Lane, Carrington, and Asante. On the bench, Jillian Crowe, Uber Hill, and Jarvis. Pretty strong bench, if I might say so. That's uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Okay, I think we're ready for this game. It's going to be an... I, I, honestly, I think this is going to be an interesting one because they're like one of the first mid-tier teams where we have played. Like, you know, they, they are in there and um, they can definitely up, do an upset if, uh, if they're having a good game. You know, one, two set pieces and bang, two nil to them. And that, that 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 could happen. I really don't hope so. I hope we are just keep rolling, not letting in any goals and just, you know, get the, get these wins in. Okay, so they have drawn one and lost one in the last two. That is at least a little bit comforting to see that. Maybe we have a good chance here to just keep going. I mean, why? I, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't do it. So we're going to, yeah, tell him to, uh, we're going to tell the boys to press up on this guy. Um, good. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Dressing room. Dressing room. Um, yeah, I would say this like the assistant manager would, but just because he's saying it, I'm going to go for something else. Don't let a good run come to an end. Hands to get. Oh, I can't do that. Hands in pockets then. Uh, don't let a good run come to an end. Keep going. There we go. They loved it. Well done. Of course, we won't let this run come to an end. 
Right? Right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully not. So yeah, as you can see here, Nyang dropping so deep in between the central defenders, and they are actually they, they do have uh, you know stay wider on when we are in possession. So that works out so well because we have this kind of free center back situation going on when we are in possession really deep, and when we are more further up the pitch, he's gonna get up there in the defensive midfield role. So it it really works out. He's doing exactly what I want him to in this formation. Exactly what I want him to. It's so great to see that, uh, you know, when, when when a role is really working out for you in a formation. Um, mm, 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 seems like they might have the first highlight here. That's... Unless we are going to get it somehow. Mm, down our mid? Wow, that's... Oh, we are, yeah, we are playing for... Um, ooh, what? That's a big mistake, but he came back. I might go back on that uh, defending on uh, de defending wide. That might not be a good idea. It definitely didn't look good here where they went through our mid. I don't like seeing that. Don't really like seeing that. And we are forcing a position outside. So I don't... No, no, of course we are not because we are... Oh, free yell. What? He didn't get a... Okay, okay. I thought he would get uh, at least a yellow card here. Um, so far, so not good. Um, yeah, for, let's let's check it out here. Four minutes in, they have all the possession. I don't, I don't like that defending for the defending wide. It, it, it seems to be um, seems to be the problem here. I think. Um, we're gonna go for uh, defending like this again. I, I, my assistant is rushed wrong in this case. I think he could be right, but I just feel he's wrong. So um, from what I have seen already i i don't like it we're gonna go back to defend uh, narrowly i think i think spencer adams and Sraha is not that great in the air but spencer adams can deal with a lot uh when it coming from uh, you know wide areas so i'll rather i'll rather push them out on the outside uh instead because we also got some pretty decent tacklers in our uh, wing uh, in our um fullbacks so uh, that, that was two highlights for them yeah i don't like that four minutes in that's that's no good they're definitely gonna go for it here. I mean, maybe we should go back on positive, but maybe we get the ball now. We we do get the ball now. Okay, okay. So yeah, just it it seems to be that um, another highlight for them. Are you absolutely kidding me? What is going on here? See, that is where uh, FM is sometimes just where you. It must be because they're countering us in some kind of way. Because otherwise, we would just absolutely sit on the game like we have done in all the other games. That's some good counter-attacking football right here. Carrington down the line now. See if he can get a good cross in into Asante. No, it's going to be Lane. Ooh, I thought that went in. I thought that went in. Okay, that's a first good opportunity for us. But uh, maybe we have stopped them now. I think we have stopped them. I think just attack, uh, defending narrowly stopped it. I don't... Def defending wide... I <laughs> They might suggest it, but maybe I shouldn't take that. Because I think us... Defending narrowly is a good thing. I think that's a good thing. Not a whole lot happening here. It's 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 one of the most unusual fights. Uh, fights. <laughs> one of the un uh, unusual matches uh, so far in the season. Uh, Asante. Ooh, hello. He actually uh, dropped it down for Carrington. That's not often you see a striker do that in FM. Like that. Lane. Friel. See, Lane, he's not the fastest. Lane is not the fastest, but he can still take his man. He got some good dribbling, some good technique and stuff. That's a good ball in, but actually well dealt with by their... Uh, ooh, long shot there. But yeah, pretty uh, good uh, by their uh, goalkeeper. But yeah, after we change that, we are definitely the better team. They haven't had a chance after that. They haven't had a chance. So that's good. Narrow. Narrow defending is definitely it for us. Um... Even when our assistants think it's going to be a good idea to go wide, we're probably going to stay narrow from here on out. Um, I just think we're defending. We're just, even if even if uh, they are good in the wide areas, I'm going to let them have it uh, because they won't have the ball that often because we, we just get it back. I mean, we are not good at getting balls back, but, but, but definitely we're not losing it when we have it. And, uh, and it's very hard to score on us when we are defending narrowly. Uh, so like, even if they are good in the wide areas, I'm just going to let them do it. When they do get the ball, which is not very often. <laughs> so, yeah, because we are that bit, much better at defending narrowly as well. 
Ooh, that's a... I don't like to see that. Oh, it's... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well done, cover. Well done. That's another thing that I think we have upgraded on a lot over the seasons. Our our fullbacks are so much better than the... They, we, we just kept getting better and better fullbacks. You know what I mean? They And they are also good. Cover and Hughes are both quite decent in the air. So even if even if they get it to the far post like they did here, Cover is good enough to win his headers like 70 or 80% of the time. Uh, or even more than that, uh, to be honest. Because he could also be a center back. So that's the thing. We do have some really, really strong, tall lads now that is good in the air. We don't lose a lot in the air. You know what? It's not a bad half. But it's also not entirely the best half um, we have had. This is probably one of the worst games. Um, and it does look like a draw. It does look like a draw. And I don't want another draw. That's the sixth draw if we're going to get it. Um, but I don't see why I would change anything. But we should probably have gotten more chances. But honestly, to my surprise, Hartlepool have been a lot better than I thought they would be. Um, but then again... They are mid mid tier team. They are sitting in the mid tables, so uh, maybe I shouldn't have been too surprised that this is the kind of game it is. Uh, I don't like what I saw. I, I actually I didn't, but I don't think they're gonna like this. Uh, keep going. We can win this. I think I'm gonna say that instead. Yeah. Okay. Didn't work. Didn't work. Maybe I should have gone with the assistant manager manager uh, decision here. Yeah. I try to avoid to do that. I tried to make my own decisions. <laughs> I actually wish there were an option where you can just take it out so I don't know what the assistant manager suggests. I wish there were some kind of option for that. Oh, coffee. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I got to drink more of that because it's, well, it's not cold yet, but yeah, um, cold coffee is not a great thing. So let's uh, drink more of that <laughs> in the second half. Mm, yeah, there's no one up there. See, Asante is often very um, alone up there. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of help because we don't have a... Um, but he's dropping deep. That's the good thing. He's dropping deep. Even as a pressing forward, he's he's definitely dropping deep. Huge is here. Let's get a good cross into lane. Oh, he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. Back to cover, which is going to get... Yeah, he got blocked. Decent, decent attacking movements there. Good chance. Kind of. I thought Lane would have a shot on, but he didn't really have the angle, or maybe he... I don't know. First touch wasn't there. Oh, hello, Lane. Oh, playing Asante directly in. There we go. Well done, Lane. That is Lane. That is all Lane, but also Asante having the composure to actually finish it. Really well done there by both of those guys. Loved it. That was great. And what a goalkeeper mistake that is. But what a lovely goal that one is. And Asante just composed as hell, just putting it into the corner. Well, actually not. Just past the goalkeeper. Flat. I love it. Great. And uh, yeah, still, since we've changed over to that, uh, you know, defend narrowly, they haven't had a chance. <laughs> so, I mean, that's probably it. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Yeah, Asante and Lane has been really good. When they're playing, both of them, they are usually doing really well. I think I've seen Lane doing have one bad game when he started, and that's about it. Otherwise, he's doing well. Carrington do have his fallout. I mean, is he doing any? Nah, he's not having a good game this time around. Uh, well done, Partington. I think Sraha did a really big mistake there. I, I actually wanted to see it again, but I think Sraha he he forgot to run or something. Well. If we were to concede, it was probably going to be this way, wasn't it? Let's see. Uh, yeah, the zonal marking is, of course, in there. Uh, so I, I've, mm, so we have Nyang and we have uh, Asante marking their guys, kind of. Yeah, there are two guys there. So here is where the zonal marking is not working. And, and also, I have one less guy in here now because I'm leaving one of them... Uh, just outside the box to deal with players out here to not get long shots off. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this sucks. We are unlucky, but this is where we are conceding goals from these kind of situations or other corners or wide range. Uh, but I think this is the first in a long, long time I've seen. But 
yeah. I mean, Asante should have done better. Honestly, he should, but he's not a defender. So there we go. Um, not great. Not great at all. But uh, hopefully we can uh, bounce back and maybe get another goal here. Otherwise, it seems to be a draw. I mean, that's the only thing we have seen. They have they haven't gotten anything else but that free kick situation, right? So um, that's probably not going to likely going to happen again in this game, at least. But yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I'm s yeah. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's oh, it's Asante and Lane again, just the other way around. Another great, great, great job by those two guys. Wow, mm, love to see it. It was even a long shot. Right? It was even a long shot goal. This one wasn't it. Khalil also linking up with Asante yet, but yeah, that ball into. Lane, who finds space in here. He's playing as a winger, but he's finding space so far in. Look at that central defenders here. Look at those central defenders. I mean, it's very close to being offside, but it's not. Look at those central defenders, man. They are so far apart from each other. There's just acres of space in between them. Even Friel could have run in here. I mean, terrible defending. Terrible. We are we're just stretching them so well here. Stretching them so well. And yeah, that's a good long range shot. And that goalkeeper is not looking great in there. He should probably have done better, but I'll take it. 2 1 up again. You know what? I might go back to Bell. Nah, nah, because they had one thing and it was a set piece thing. I nah. Just keep going positive. Maybe we can get up another goal, actually. But we should also uh, make some subs here. I just don't know. Lane is... Yeah, we are taking Lane off. I think we got Uber with us. He can just come on. I mean, he already deserves to come off, doesn't he? I mean, he's had a great game, Lane. He's absolutely brilliant. Uh, we could also put Hill on, but I'd rather put Uber on, to be honest. Wow, I thought I had some something on my hand here. <laughs> it's just... Oh, what is that? Cockroach? No, we don't have cockroaches in Denmark, so that's not it. Uh, let's see. Huges... Hasn't had a great game. Carrington hasn't had a great game. Should we let... I think Crowey is coming in. Either for Hughes or Carrington. We need to play um, Crowey a little bit more. I think he's coming on for Hughes here. Hughes is having one of his rare occasions where he's not having a great game. I think the right-hand side is just not working for some reason. Maybe it's because we are playing a lot of football over there and there is no room for either Carrington or, or in this case also Hughes to, to run into and get the good situations going. And that, that therefore, that's going to be room for Lane instead. And also Cover, who has had quite a good game, right? Yeah, both of them had a quite a good game. So that might be it. Sometimes you need to, you know, understand what is happening in the games and also understand that the ratings might not reflect, you know, the real deal. Because, yeah, if, if, if their team is just really good at defending in the left-hand side and we are playing on the right-hand side and then moving the ball really fast over to the left-hand side and attacking that way, that, that means that someone like Carrington and, 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 and in this case, who just won't have high ratings. Um, yeah, that, I, I, let's do two subs and wait with the last one. I don't want... I, I usually... I'm okay with doing two subs in a row. That's perfectly fine for me, especially when we're 69 minutes in. But I don't want to make all three in, in the same, you know... I, I usually like to keep my third sub until the 80th minute. Because there could be an injury before that. And if we're getting into the 80th minute and we do this up and there is an injury after that, it usually won't have that big of an impact. It could have, but it's more unlikely. Um, well done by Uber here. Pretty good cross into Asante. Yeah, Spa having a good game. Swiss Rasms having a good game. Cover. Khalil, mm, Friel. Yeah, this is not a game for the midfielders, that's for sure. Uh, we have seen that. It's, it's, it's the wingers. It's all about the wingers, especially in the left-hand side. Also the uh, fullbacks here. And Asante. It's been Asante, wingers, and, and, and the fullback. That's, ba that's basically it. At least what we, we have seen. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Two set pieces. It's just like I foresaw, <laughs> or foreseen, or whatever it's called. Two set pieces. I mean, there are fucking six guys in there, and they can't defend it against one guy jumping in. Two highlights. Two set pieces. That is disappointing. But honestly, I am not surprised that it, that it would be this way, that we would, you know, 
I'm, I'm not surprised at all. This, this is the only way we're conceding goals. And it's not even a lot of goals, but this game is just... I, again, I think we're just really unlucky in this game compared to the other games that I have played. Because they, the other games, they all also get these one, two, maybe set pieces, one, two, three set pieces sometimes as, as highlights. And they just don't score on them. In this case, they're just getting really lucky scoring on both of them. Uh, so I, I don't... Yeah, it's, it's just like that. Uh, covers, uh, I was just wondering if... We don't really... I didn't take a central defender with me. That might have been... That could have been a mistake. Uh, I think I'm going to put Jiljian on instead of uh, Friel because he's on that yellow. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not great to get a draw here at home. It's not. It's really not great. But, I mean, what can you do? It's, it's set pieces and... We, we gave way too, way too much in this game. Honestly, we did. Um... But we haven't seen where, what the other chances were. We have only seen two highlights, right? And though both of those were set piece. I can't really. I, I, can, I, I it's, it's. I'm, I, I'm just gonna say, okay, well, unlucky boys. That, that's what I feel it is. It's not like we're defending badly. It's not like we've. It, we even defended okay in those two. It's not like they didn't do what I want them to. I mean, yeah, the corner was a little bit odd with all the guys in there, but that we are. We are defending. Oh, he's going off. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Goodbye, Ferdinand. We're gonna we're gonna go very attacking here. Maybe we can grab a goal in the last five. Ah, uh, hello, Crowy. Hmm. This is not over. That was not the highlight. That is the highlight. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Come on, cover. Another good cross here. Eh. Ah, uh, that was our chance. I think we might not get another one. I don't think we're going to get another one. Mm. Well, it's not great. It's definitely not great. A 2-2. That's a pretty poor result, seeing that they only had two highlights, both of them from set pieces. We had plenty of chances to score, even a further, even, even one more goal, but it, it, it's all about the conceded goals here. Uh, because we get the two goals we need, but us conceding two, that have only happened two times in this season, and we have only conceded ten goals in, in, in total, so it's 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 rare. It's a rare thing to happen. Oh, don't don't tell me they're gonna get a counter here. No, it's just full time. <sighs> that is probably that is probably the second worst result of the season. Second worst result. That's saying a lot, isn't it? That's saying a lot. Second worst result because it it is well actually it's kind of the worst result because it is at home. The other draw I was thinking about was uh, away to Torque where we should also have won that one. Same deal. They also had two highlights and they got two goals from from you know set pieces. So it was the same deal back then. Yeah, it's yeah. Let's just uh, brush it off and say okay, we are going to continue then. I mean, still we don't have a loss, but it's we we uh, we probably uh, we probably lost a couple of points here. On um, yeah, that's the thing. When you get these, I mean, this is the sixth draw. That's, that's a lot of draws so far. That's a lot of draws. This was a much. This was a win. We we must we, you know that the title is gonna be. This is not a winning one point situation. This is a loss two points situation. Definitely. Well, a little bit interesting is it that both Tranmere and Wrexham also kind of fucked up. Wrexham, they lost their game. That's not going to happen much. I mean, they have lost two here. That's interesting. Tranmere, a draw. And Oldham and Aldershot won there, so they actually moved closer to us. But we are still, you know, we're still four points ahead of Aldershot. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I haven't even seen who they lost. Borham Wood. Wow, Wrexham, that's poor. <laughs> At home, that's really poor. And they had a pretty bad match against uh, Bromley up here, Tranmere. Yeah, uh, not a great result, but at least they are, um, at least some of the biggest opponents didn't really get theirs. Uh, I mean, Tranmere and Wrexham is probably the biggest opponents, at least how I see it. Could also be Oldham. I mean, I'm I'm surprised by Oldham, but uh, Elder Shot. I don't I don't I don't think they're gonna keep up with this. But we, 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 they, I mean, maybe they are good enough. I don't know. But I, you know what? That is a sweet thing to see. We have not lost in 17 games. That is that is awesome. It was a bad result this one, but 
Man, 17 unbeaten. That's insane. And as we can see here on the XG, I mean, they had that, that's it. That's that's all they got. And we should we should have won that one. It's it's like you you can't do anything about those. You you just can't. It, you just have to continue how you're doing things because it's working. And just say, well, unlock. Oh, we are uh, facing possible takeover. Interesting. Let's uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, so here we are against Bill Ricky in the FA Cup first round, of course. So let's see what they are gonna tell us this time around. Uh, instructions: Yes, a focus played on the right side because what? Uh, getting a positive result in this match, but why? Um. Okay, I guess let's try it. We can also take it off if it doesn't seem to be working. Ease of tackles. Mohamed Nyang, okay, as maybe he's on a yellow uh, suspension thing again. I'm guessing that's that's it. But I think we're gonna play the um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move this around and 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 use all the guys that normally don't play here. I don't really want to get too far into the FA Cup. I don't want to risk our main guys. Uh, I mean, some of them will play, but. Let's uh, let me do this and I'll get back in a moment. Okay, there we go. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to play Clayton in the goal. Crowey out on the fullback. Spencer Adams has got to play this one. Um, I, I could I could take someone else. But you know what? We, we, we like to have at least a couple of first team members in there. Weber is going to play this one. Rev, James, Khalil is going to be the box to box. Gilligan is going to go over and play the Carrilero. He hasn't played too well, so he needs to prove himself a little bit here in the FA Cup. Hill, he needs to prove himself quite a lot. Lane is our first team member that is going to start this one on the left-hand side of the wingers. Um, yeah, I mean, I could play Uba, but you know what? Um, I probably should play Uba. Actually, we should... Nah, I could also play Ubasi. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave Ubasi in there and let him come on probably later on. Mills up front because um, it seems that, that Domor and also... Um, what is his name? Jarvis have played another match, so... Uh, yeah, it's going to be Mills up top. I don't expect to win this one, to be honest, but it would be nice to get further into the FA Cup without playing too many of our first team squad members. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Well, they're all first team squad. I mean, first 11. If if I do have a first 11, I probably more like have a first 15 or something like that. But whatever, you know what I mean. So, excellent form, inconsistent, right. Um, Small favorites? Yeah, probably. Probably small favorites. I'm more expecting a draw here because of the players we're playing. So let's say... Hands in pockets. We're doing well. Go on. Do the same. Wouldn't mind a draw. Well, actually, I would... Nah. <laughs> See, I think a draw actually means that we would have a new match. I don't really want a new match. I mean, it would be at home, so that would be a good thing for ticket sales and stuff like that. But still, it's... Um, Actually, ticket sales is uh, that is a split, so it would actually be better to be away from home in that uh, case because we do not really. That's a bad way to start this match. That's a really, really bad way to start this match. So yeah, I'm not gonna risk rev here. Um, yeah, dang, Hughes is coming on. Well, that's not a great way to start. Dang it, an injury in the first minute, never a good thing. Never a good thing, man. But okay. Huge is coming in instead of Rev. I mean, he could possibly have played more, but I don't want to risk the guys. It's like, every time I'm seeing something like that, I usually stop them off. I usually do it. Whoa, that was a good strike from Weber. Really far out. <laughs> 30 yards. I said not meters. It's your same meters. Lane. Mills. Ooh. Well, his signature move <laughs> from the corners, of course. Well, we do like we, we do look like the best team, but you never know from these set pieces if they're going to score. Didn't hear. Okay. Didn't hear. Fine. Just get the set pieces then. Score on us from set pieces. Uh, I'm expecting to see something from Hill here. He's really on the fringe right now. Um, I am considering going out and finding a new winger. Um... Someone who could maybe, maybe a bit like Lane, who could play both sides. Uh, because we are, you know, I wouldn't say we are struggling, not at all. We do have, um, you know, two wingers for each spot. But it's a long season, you know. Mills, less lovely. Khalil, uh, not the best shot in the world, but what is going on here? Free kick, I guess. Yeah, okay. Good opportunity for Crowey. Oh, that's, that's piss poor. <laughs> that, was, that was really bad. 
yeah, uh, mm. not the best. Not the best. But so far, so good. 12 minutes in. We're definitely yeah, not giving a lot away. And we're getting the chances. So it should be good. Lane? Nope. Getting blocked. Is this a counter? No, it's just end of highlight. There we go. Spencer Adams is on a yellow. Mm, that's that's early. That's very early. Don't love to see that either. Mm. Yeah. Also, James. James also has to show something. Because right now, Nyang is just my first choice. Directly my first... Whoa! He hit the post really far. But yeah, it's offside, of course. Uh, yeah, Nyang is just my first choice as a deep-line playmaker. And James, you know, you, you have to show me something to deserve, you know, that spot. Because he he's... He's almost as good as Nyang. Nyang is just doing it better. He's just having better games than that halfback area. So, yeah. You know, a couple of the guys just have to show it. Khalil. Khalil has done okay when he's actually playing, so I'm not too concerned about him. I just, you know, I'm just just like Freel a little bit more. You know what I mean? Um, and Gilligan, he also has to show something. Because he hasn't been great. I mean, he has... And that's that's the thing. The, the the ratings are way lower on my uh, central uh, midfielders because we don't really play a lot through the midfield. Is that a highlight? It's the most odd highlight. No, it's probably going to be a long kick here and then a counter for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know my match engine, don't I? <laughs> uh, but it could also be for us. But I think this is going to be a highlight for them. The first open play for them. Oh, that's... That was really good. They really played us thin. Wow. So that's the that's one of the first chances I've seen in a long time in open play for another team, actually. Maybe I've seen one of them twice, maybe a couple of games, but it it's it's not very often that it that that was a really good chance for them. It it really was. It, it's not often I see that in this season. Okay, half time it seems, or close to. Not not a great game by us. To be honest, not not entirely compared to what we normally do, but we do play a lot of the guys that we would not normally use a lot. So, um, uh, well, we kind of do, but there is also a couple of guys in there that it's not, you know, in there in the first eleven. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're just gonna. I'm just looking at some of these names here. I don't really know any of them, but. I was just, you know, when I see this Watford uh, thing here, I, I, that, that, that's what I was like. Okay, they have two former Watford players in there. Um, that's usually a bad sign <laughs> for me. Wow, Spencer Adams and Weber having really... And Hooches having poor, poor games here. Hill again having a sitter, a complete sitter. They need to do a lot better. I mean, if you have 6.3 in rating, you, you, you shouldn't be on my team, mate. You... Yeah, it's it's not looking good. This um, hands and hips say that. Move on. So if we want to win this. We probably need to move uh, some of the better guys in. Oh, we only have two subs because of uh, that injury. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, he'll just destroy someone. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I guess. I mean, Hill could get one of the goals from his corners. You know, you know him. You know him. But yeah, Hill, he's uh, he he's just not. It, it's it's like those two signings I made last season with Hill and Pierre, terrible, just just absolutely terrible. Hill, he, he's sometimes showing something Hill, but more often than not, he he just doesn't have good games. So yeah, I, I'm likely to offload him as well when I can. Let's put it on Carrington. Maybe Carrington can do something. Hopefully, he can. Because I don't like what I'm seeing from Hill. He, I, I mean, we haven't seen anything. He's just piss poor. Crowy is okay. James is doing okay. That's at least nice. Lane is doing quite nice. Mills is doing fine up there. Yeah, we just need another player over there, I think. I think Carrington can probably do it. But it, it seems to be a very even game here. Kind of. We're not really having the possession a whole lot. I think I'm actually going to go cautious here. Because sometimes that will work in my favor. Um, just keep dropping a little bit deeper and you know getting the possession back keeping the possession a little bit more hopefully they do get a shot there okay yeah it's not looking great we're not really getting anything we're not getting anything maybe a chance here 
maybe we should play in a higher tempo instead. Maybe we should go attacking. I don't know. It's I'm just you know what? I, I think I'll take another um I'll probably take another game instead. And and, and just make sure at home that we're gonna win it. Ah, because it is away from home and usually you don't play as well away from home as you do at home. That is definitely scripted. That is a scripted thing in FM. That's for sure. Spencer Adams there, not miss, uh, missing his header. I don't like that. Yeah, they seem to be the better team here in the second half almost. It's not great to see. 69 minutes. Come on, Mills header. Ah... Did he miss it or I don't know? Maybe he was just marked very tight. He he's a shadow of himself because he's not playing, of course, as well. But yeah, um, Mills is gonna be here for this season, and then he's and he's gonna leave us. Yeah, the legend is gonna leave. Uh, could we put Asante on? Just give a bit more pace up there, and I don't know. I think something like that would maybe be helpful here in the last fifteen minutes. Yeah, let's try that. It's a bit of a different kind of... Uh, he's, a, he's a bit more pressing forward. So he might get us a little bit more possession because he's pressing a lot more than Mills would do. Uh, well, it does look like a draw, doesn't it? Not, not a great result, not a bad result either because we will play another game if I'm not mistaken. I don't hope it's extra time. I, I, I actually don't remember. I, I always forget these things. Should probably check it out, but yeah, uh, it could be extra time actually. That is not great for us. I mean, it probably is to be honest. It's probably great for us because we're probably the better team. But uh, yeah, clock is running out. Clock is running out. I mean, you don't need more than that. <laughs> you just need to. <laughs> you don't need more than that. Carrington, the perfect sub for us. Sue was up. Crowy with a pretty good assist here as well. There we go. There we go. That's that's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> pretty random. It's pretty random. I mean, from a set piece in the overtime. Can't complain. But it wasn't it wasn't a good game. Um Oh, okay. I was just about to say. This is the most scripted thing in the world, but it wasn't. Okay. Mm, come on, end it. End it. Oh, another block, another corner. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, Lane, he's just... I mean, th that, that is my problem with this FA Cup, is that some of these guys are not going to be ready for the next league game. That's not good. That is really, really bad, actually. <sighs> Come on, just end it. I've seen enough. Another block for another corner. Oh, they're, they're really pushing us. Really pushing us here. I mean, they should. They should be all out attacking right now. Well done, Asante. Should, it should be ending now. I, I, don't, I don't even need to see this. Oh, there we go. Full time. We are moving forward in the FA Cup. Get a little bit of money, I guess. Um... Who did well here? Uh, Crowley yeah, with that assist and also a pretty decent performance over there on the right-hand side of the defense. Yeah, fullback area. Khalil did okay again. He's like a 7.0 guy. <laughs> he seems to be doing that. Jillian, decent. James, yeah, that's pretty good. He, Yeah, that's pretty good. 7.4. Love that. Carrington coming in. Really well done by him. Um, Sante did really well when he came in. Went, he did win all those headers on the corners. Love to see it. Uh, Clayton, yeah, he did okay. I mean, I'm not, uh, yeah, well done, Clayton. Again, another good cup, uh, cup game for him. Okay, great. So we are still unbeaten. That is very good. But I, I am expecting that we are gonna lose, lose one soon enough. Can't, we, this can't keep going. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna come back. It could be. Uh, I mean, if if we are, this is the third. What? Oh, oh, it's the trophy. Uh, I could come back for if we are winning this one. If we're winning this second round. If we're getting lucky with the draws and we get a third round where we're gonna get a big team, I'm likely gonna come back for that one. But um, I just don't know. Uh, Rexham looks like a good game to come back for. I think Rexham is probably it. That that is the most likely I'm seeing right here that I want to come back for. But we do have a couple of really big games coming up, like Oldham. That's a big one. Fulder. That's a pretty big one. 
Um, Bromley, see, I didn't actually know this, but Bromley is actually our fierce rivals. So <laughs> need to remember that one. Uh, so yeah, Bromley is also a quite exciting one just because they are our rivals. And then I think we are going to come back for Rexham, but I can't be, I can't be completely sure, but that is my current, you know, let's come back for Rexham. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Unbeaten. I mean, what is there else to say here? Unbeaten. I mean, yeah. So uh, I'll see you around next time.